What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Down South Off-Road and Outdoor. If you recognize the place, that's because we're back at Mike's Fabrication and Refinishing. If you look at the back of Lagatha, you can see she's kind of full. It's going to have, it's got the ruck rack here. It's going to have some roto packs mounted here. And so my visibility out the back is nil. So today we're going to be installing the Wolf Box. What the hell is that? Camera mirror. It's a rear view mirror camera thing. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is the Wolf Box G8 40S. Basically looks just like a rear view mirror, but bigger. But bigger. And it's a big ass screen. Um, has a camera mounted in the front. You can hook it up with your cigarette lighter. So you've got all kinds of extra wires, but we are choosing to hardwire this to the car using this beautiful kit that Mike just quickly unboxed. Mm, just goes right in the fuse box. Right in the fuse box, and that is the Wolfbox Hardwire Kit for parking monitor mode. So you can hook this up to constant power and it will monitor your car. That's how we're gonna do it today. Um, Kim's is not hooked up to constant power and it's kind of annoying because it takes forever to boot up mm -hmm. when you crank the car. So we are going to avoid that on mine. Sorry, babe. Mm -hmm. These plug into the camera with a USB-C. The GPS, the headphone plug, trim tool. I'm not real sure what the GPS is there for. I think it gives location information for insurance purposes. Yeah. If you wanted to use this video in court, it just dawned on me that I also did not buy a memory card. So, this camera will probably be useless until I do. Mm -hmm. When you get your wolf box, uh, you get a little trim panel removal, a little wipe, a little dash panel. So guys, I've got this third brake light extender that came as part of the Smitty Built XRC bumper. So we're gonna take this and mount the rear view camera there. We use stainless hardware so it don't rot. So here in a couple months when this motherfucker don't work, at least you can take the screws back out. It's gonna work, man. Kim's is held up. Has it? Yeah. All right, let's see. That looks good. That way. Yeah. Get so yeah, guys, if you get the Smitty Built XRC tire carrier, um, this comes as standard equipment. Found a carriage bolt. You want it up or down? Um, probably up oh, the most. You yeah. have to be. I guess it would be harder than one. So we pulled the grommet off the tailgate. He just threaded the wire through. In theory. In theory. There you go. Actually, before we do that, let's get some more uh, heat shrink and put them in the hole together. So, what Mike's doing now, because he's Mike, is he's putting heat shrink on these two wires. Uh, to give them a little more protection and keep them together. So he's getting his links right. That's surprising because I just did the wire notice on that bike for the week and that was a shitload of wire. Now that he has the camera mounted, he's just gonna start tucking this wire. It's one of the good things about a Jeep, nothing's really tight. Yeah. So, 
You're probably just gonna run this all along the top until you get over here, right? And then run it down. Yeah, yeah, it'll come all the way over there and it'll go below the doors and then between the doors and then below the other door and it'll come up the post. Uh, like up there by the front door hinges. And guys, it's just as simple as tucking it under here as well on the way up. And then we'll be running it up that A pillar. So guys, when you're tucking in the A pillar, um, we just kind of raise the top up a bit. Uh, <coughs> How far off? Five. So Mike is using a new snap-on tool. So let's see if he shoves the staff through the battery. Oh, apparently I didn't see him. All right, guys. So I might have forgot to hit record. So you can see Mike found a grommet that pushes through right behind that battery tray. So he's ran a fake wire. Now he's going to hook the camera wire to it, the power wire, and we'll just pull it through. So you're pulling the USB-C, will it fit through that hole? Um, yeah. We're hoping. <laughs> so we're just gonna hope that it don't feel the tape off it. That's why I'm just taping the hell out of it. It slides through. Um, I'm gonna start pulling it. You might add a tweet to where I can turn this back and forth. Hey, something happened. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, and there's the box. Yep, you're down to the box. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. So you're able to keep your stock mirror. Oh, it's got a card in it. Does it? 32 gig. Hey, nice. I thought I was going to have to buy a memory card for this, guys, but it actually came lo came loaded with a 32 gig. So you're able to keep your stock mirror. This will just clip over it like yeah. so. Yeah, so. You'll use these little rubber bands. Holy shit. It's going to be fucking tight. You're going to put your mirror on a diet, man. Yeah. I, I just now realized how fat that mirror is. What the hell, Jeep? What could possibly be in that mirror? <laughs> Apparently a lot. That it needed to be that thick. Apparently a lot of soot. All right. I'm gonna go around to the other side. All right, guys. So it took some creative pulling to make this all fit. But you can see it actually looks really cool in there. Um, fits nice. The switch panel hides some of the plug-ins for the wire so we'll get this thing fired up it's late tonight so we're gonna hit the bed and uh, I'll show it to you tomorrow it just powered up format card okay it looks like it's right side up I see a whole lot of the ruck rack still but hey my hand on the bottom. your hands good it got late last night, so we got this in, but we didn't really test it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is that also satisfy. Nice. Let's turn the power on. All right, so here it is coming on. I will tell you that I can already say without a shadow of a doubt that the quality of the camera is amazing. We have another version of this camera in our other Jeep, Bella, and it's made by Carche, and the camera isn't at all as clear as this. So the one thing I don't like is that I can see the ruck rack here in the corners. So I'm gonna see if you can move the camera around like you can on the Carche. The Carche will allow you to raise and lower your field of view. 
So right off the bat, that's how you bring the menu up. Um, we've got brightness. I don't know why I can't see my settings here. Huh. So that is strange. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. I'll be down. So yeah, so guys, if you want to raise or lower that camera, because the way it was set, it was very, very low for me, and now all you have to do is drag that. So that's pretty awesome. And I guess that's the front camera. And that is both. And that's kind of neat. And there we go. So that's the rear. Um, at night, this thing looks phenomenal. I'll get some other footage of that. So now I need to figure out how to set that clock. I wonder why I can't get the settings. So that just switches through the camera modes. All right. So I'm gonna dig into this settings thing and then I'll be back. So apparently you can't click your settings while the video is recording. That's why I couldn't get it to work earlier. So let's try parking mode, put it on 24 hours. Resolution, I'm gonna do um, 1080p. Mm, maybe, no, I'll leave it there. Um, movie clip time, let's do one minute. Reversing line, I don't really need that. Upside down rear image, format card, boom. Let's do screensaver. We don't need a screensaver. G sensor sensitivity, let's put it on middle. Volume setting, low. No. Flicker, 60 hertz. Clock settings, that's what I was looking for. So you can see it's really easy. Um, I don't even know what time it is. It is 11.18. Okay, time style. default all right I think we've got everything guys that is very very easy I love it and so yes yeah, so you see they're not if this thing is recording these are not highlighted so you just stop recording and now they're highlighted so if you had that issue guys it's as simple as that all right super cool I love this thing um, for the price you can't beat it it just clips onto your regular mirror and you saw how easy it is to move this camera around you literally just drag it where you want it to go to the front camera I can do the same thing drag it where I want it if you wanted to see both you can see that giant field of view that both cameras have and of course it's seeing my windshield banner there if you're wondering what that is. So I just wanted to show you what a good quality camera this is when you're on the road. I mean, the picture quality, I don't know if you can beat it. It's definitely much better than the other camera that we're using in Kim's Jeep. So I have much more visibility than I typically would in my rear view mirror. So it's definitely a win you have a Jeep with a big spare tire and maybe other stuff in the back um, this is definitely something for you I actually looked on Amazon this morning and the camera is on sale for hundred and twenty dollars be sure if you buy the camera that you also buy the wiring kit so that you can put it to constant power 
because remember as it as it comes it's going to plug into your cigarette lighter so get that extra wiring kit i think the wiring kit is less than twenty dollars it's a dreary rainy day but the quality of that picture is just very vibrant easy to see it's just a really good camera guys This is such a cool product. I think I like it as much as I like the new Voss stereo I just put in the Jeep. So we'll have reviews for that coming up as well. As always guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the Wolfbox GH48S. I think that's the number. Let me know what you think of it in the comments and we'll see you next time.